Yankees and the Red Sox will play an elimination game in Fenway in the postseason, the wild card game to open it up. And I got to tell you about a matchup that people might not think is scary, but I'm scared. Kike Hernandez versus Garrett Cole. These are his numbers on the season. 12 plate appearances, four hits, one double, one homer, 583 on base. All the numbers are really good. If you downloaded DraftKings at the sportsbook this year and you used promo code JOHNBOY when you did and you play some bets on over under on Kike's hits versus Garrett Cole games, you'd probably win it or maybe like total bases reached versus Cole. Those would be good bets because he's just had his number all year. And it started off, this is the first pitch Kike ever saw from Cole. It's a fastball to start the game, and he swings big, takes it deep over the monster into the front row. That guy makes the catch, and that is the beginning of it because these are Kike's numbers against Cole's fastball this season. Look at this. Zero swings and misses. Zero foul balls. Three hits. Every time he swung at a fastball, he put it in play. Two called strikes that he didn't think were strikes he didn't swing at. He just hunts Cole's fastball. And you can see that this happened over the courses of the season where he's just looking at that fastball. That's a 1-0 fastball. It's a fly out, but, you know, looking fastball. This is a 2-0 fastball, another fly out to judge. Here's a first pitch of the game fastball. He ropes down the line for a double. Another fastball here, 2-1 third inning he's gonna fly out to Wade later on in this game the 0-2 fastball he drives to the wall of Yankee Stadium and Wade makes a nice catch but that's a nice piece of hitting so Kike's just hunting the fastball there's a base hit on a 3-2 fastball later on in the season and Cole's like what the hell is this I guess I can't throw my fastball anymore but when he throws a breaking ball or change up off speed breaking ball look at this only two whiffs three fouls One put in play, one hit. So when he did put it in play, it was a hit. Three foul balls, only two whiffs, a lot of balls. He just doesn't chase. You can see a montage of them here. If it's a slider, I mean, that's not a competitive pitch, but sometimes these do get swings and misses. That was called strike, but he didn't like it. Change up low, curveball low, slider on the outside. He's not swinging if the ball isn't fast. These are the two swings and misses. A 2-0 change up. Maybe he thought a fastball was coming for sure. And then an 0-1 slider. That's what those pitches that we were just looking looking at that are way out of the zone, that's what's supposed to happen. It only really happened once. He only got one swing and miss on a slider. In his last five at-bats versus Garrett Cole, walk, single, walk, walk, single. And he starts off every game. So I'm super curious about the first pitch of the game tonight because look at this. This is his fifth most recent at bat. Here's how Cole attacked him after knowing some of this fastball stuff. He gets the change up in the zone for called strike one, and then on the 0-1 count, he's going to go fastball way out of the zone to try and set up the slider away that comes right here, and he doesn't chase. Doesn't chase at all. Then he's going to go back on the 2-1 pitch. Fastball tries to dot it. Goes 100 miles per hour. Now he's in a fastball count. 3-1. Tries the same thing with the changeup and misses. So you're seeing that there was three off-speed pitches and only two fastballs in that at-bat. Let's go to the next at-bat, the fourth most recent at-bat. First pitch, (laughs) slider, and he gets absolutely drilled. Almost a homer. Homer in a lot of parks. That's just a single at Fenway. First pitch of the game, fastball. That was a kind of dangerous pinch. I winced when I saw it. And he has him a one, tries to get him to swing on the slider, tries to get him to swing on the slider, doesn't swing, doesn't swing, tries to get him to swing on the slider again, doesn't swing, has to go back to the fastball, tries to overthrow it, yanks it, ball. All right, the next at bat, first pitch, slider. Then the changeup right down the middle, and then slider. So we're all off speed. There's a fastball. He yanks it again. And there's a change up low and then a slider. And Kike doesn't swing. He just takes his walk. Next at bat, change up, up and in. He got that pitch earlier. Fastball right down the middle. Scary pitch. Kike takes. Then we go slider. That's a ball. He just doesn't chase those. Didn't swing. Next pitch, change up, high and in. I think he likes that pitch, but he's got to really hit it. Then fastball, low and away. He takes it. And then the last pitch, fastball, down the middle, base hit. So 
A lot of people look at a lot of other batters in the Red Sox lineup. I am very curious to see how Cole attacks Kike Hernandez to open up the game tonight because Cole likes establishing his fastball, establishing his dominance, and just letting it rip. Kike loves hunting that pitch. So who gives in? Does Cole say, my fastball is going to be better than your swing today? Or Cole says, okay, I'll play your game and I'll go slide or change up. But Kike doesn't swing at those. So there's a lot of dangerous hitters in the Red Sox lineup uh, that I'm scared of. And I don't think a lot of people point to Kike Hernandez versus Cole and say that's a big matchup. But it's kind of a big matchup because if he gets on, then he's going to get on with Devers coming up. Ooh, I don't want that. So that's an interesting little matchup in the wild card game tonight that you should check out. And if there is a prop bet tonight on Kike Hernandez total bases or something like that, I'd take the over because – his last five plate appearances, he reached all five times. So go to DraftKings Sportsbook. Use promo code JOHNBOY. Search out Yankees versus Red Sox. Go to player props. See if they got Kike's line. It's probably like .5 or 1.5. I don't know. He probably reaches. Probably reaches. I hope not. Go Yanks.